What is up everybody, Hungry Cabion here. This video is brought to you by buyptcgocodes.com. They are sponsoring us. Um, they've also given me a nice little uh, promo code. So if I want to add these to my shopping cart, yes, I want 50 Darkness Ablaze packs, please. Oh, look at that, I already have 50 in there. And I've already applied my, uh, <laughs> my uh, coupon code, Cabion5, to get 5% off. So if you're interested in codes, please check them out and tell them I sent you. What is up everybody? Hungry Cabigon here. I have got some more mystery packs today. These are, I think, these must be the same ones that I had in the last video. They are 500 yen each. They were pretty good though. Seems like you get at least a full art in each one, if not something good. Uh, like a, a top prize card, if you will. They uh, always say you get at least 500 yen worth in the packs, which is pretty good. So you kind of at least get your money's worth. And um, it says there's 100 altogether. This is from a vending machine, by the way. And one in five is like a good, good card. So I got five. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get the good card. It says one in five. I don't know if that exactly means like if you buy five, you get one for sure. But odds are pretty good that we should get at least one good card. So let's see how we go anyway. So like I said, 500 yen each. I really haven't done very well in um, not spending money before the new set comes out on Friday. It's only a couple of days away. Hopefully tomorrow we should see all of the, the cards from the Shiny Star V. See what we want to get. I'm guessing that the Charizards will be the most expensive. That's probably pretty safe assumption, but I'm interested to see what else is in there. Definitely should be some cool stuff. I wonder if those like all blacked out Zacian and Zamazenta will be in there. Maybe. We'll see. So, yeah. I'm hoping to have like about four or five boxes or so on the day. On Friday, we'll see. We'll see how we go. Hopefully we can do well. All right, first pack. Ooh, okay, we got a gold card. Very nice. Electro Charger, is that what it's called? It's called Ereki Charger. I'm pretty sure I have this. So it lets you get, you flip coins, two coins, you get two heads, you get to get two Electro Powers out of your deck. Is this still in standard rotation? I don't think so. I'm not sure. I don't think so. But anyway, it's a gold card. It looks like a battery charger. It's cool. I think I have it already, but I mean, a gold card is pretty nice. We will definitely take that. All right, next one. What can we do here? Oh, Metagross, nice. It looks pretty cool, that artwork, I have to say. So these are all from recent sets. Oh, we got Trainer. We're getting a lot of um, Electrics and um, whatchamacallit, what's his evolution called? I want to keep wanting to say Rivolt because that's the Japanese name, but that's not the English name, is it? Manectric, that's who it is. All right, and we've got, ah. That's a little bit of an older one. Looker. It's just a shame he's not a cute girl, otherwise he might be worth something. But I do, I do like this artwork. He's eating like a... What is that? Big malasado, whatever they're called. Those donut things. Nice looking artwork. I really dig the, the texturing on the bricks. If you can see it. I should really show you before I put it in the sleeve. But it's a nice looking card. He's got some kind of like... Um, detective kind of vibes. I can't remember exactly what his deal is in the game. He's in Sun and Moon, right? The games. I'm pretty sure. I can't even remember. I have played through to the end, but that was a while ago. I can't remember exactly what happens in there, but nice looking card. So, so far, two out of two, we've got uh, full arts or better, which is very nice. All the bulk is from recent sets. We're getting a lot of the same ones though. Pokemon Catcher. 
We got a Yamega. It's called Mega Yamma in Japanese. I don't know why they switched it around. Oh! From... This is from Ultra Sun... Uh, this one's from Ultra Sun. The other one was from Ultra Moon. Leafeon Hyper Air. I don't think I have this. And to be honest, this is not one of the top prize cards. But any evolution card is like going really crazy value-wise at the moment. So that's really good. I feel like that might be the best thing we get, honestly. Even if we get one of the other top prizes. This is definitely... I mean, Leafeon is not the most popular, let's be real. It's mostly Umbreon, Espeon that are the expensive cards, but anything Evolution related uh, has recently kind of really shot up in value. That's really good. And I don't, I feel like I don't have that. I definitely have the full art, definitely have the shiny full art. I don't think I have this. I don't think so. I don't have so many Evolution Hyper Airs. I definitely have a Glaceon. I definitely have an Umbreon. I don't think that I have any other ones. That is very good. I'm very happy with that. Alright. So we haven't seen a top prize in inverted commas yet, but we have definitely seen a good card. I'm very happy with that Leafeon. That is very nice. We got Twin Energy. Oh, that's nice. What else can we get to kind of spice it up? I'm still hoping we get at least one nice prize. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. And then we come crashing down back to reality <laughs> with the wishy-washy full art. I think that I definitely prefer the earlier full art wishy-washy. This one just looks sad. The other ones, at least, they're like big intimidating school of wishy-washies. This is just like one sad little sardine. Looks like he's crying. <laughs> it's just really... Yeah, it's a funny one. But it's a meme. We'll add that to the collection. I think I have three of these now, and I have a couple of hyper airs. So we've we've got all the wishy washy boys. Don't worry about that. We 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 set for wishy washies. Don't worry about that. All right, last one. So we said it was one in five. So I'm hoping we get something good in this one. Let us see. There's no guarantees though, obviously, but I'm I'm hoping that means we should get something good in this one. We got a switch. Alright, last chance. Hey! Alright, we did get something good. Nice. Charizard VMAX. Very good. Now, <clears throat> if you're not familiar so much with Japanese cards, you might be thinking, like, he doesn't seem that excited to be, to be pulling this card. It comes in a deck in Japan, so you only get one, but, like, it comes in a deck which costs $15. So, it's not like it's hard to come by or anything. You can sell this at a card shop for about 10 bucks. I know the English one is like crazy expensive in comparison to this, but this one is, it's a nice pull, but it's not anything like super crazy. But that, I see like, I think the Leafeon is better, honestly, for now at least. We'll see what happens when those decks are no longer available, but I have had like eight of them that I've uh, had passed through my possession since they've been out because I just kept getting them as prizes. So. Yeah, uh, that said, if you get the Hyper Rare Japanese one, it's worth like five to ten grand. So, like, that is really expensive because it was only available as like a prize card. So, that is very different. Um, also, there is going to be the shiny one coming out in the new set, like that I mentioned. And there's also going to be the full art shiny, which they are already out in English. No, wait, you can't get a shiny VMAX in, in English yet. Um, but you can get a shiny regular Charizard V, um, but both of them will be in the new set, so they would presumably be the cards to chase in the set just based on previous history, like Charizard's always going to be expensive, so whether you agree with that or not is another story, but it, it is definitely the case. So I would imagine that they'll be pretty expensive. I'm kind of intrigued to see what the price is on launch day, because I feel like if it's reasonable if it's like under like I don't want to like throw out a crazy number but if it's under like 150 bucks which seems crazy but it, it may well be more than that I might buy one 
because I think that it's a pretty sound investment. The regular Shining Charizard GX, which I did pull from a box, is now worth hundreds. Like, it was sitting on 50 bucks for a long time. I should have bought like a bunch of them because now you can sell it at a card shop for like 500 bucks. So, I don't know what they're selling it for, obviously more than that. So, it is, it is very expensive. So, I think it's safe to assume that the same thing will happen with this set, especially if it is as scarce as Ultra Shiny. It, I feel like it won't be. Like, it seems crazy to make it hard to get because, like, people are going to buy it by the, by the case, honestly. And if I had the money, I, de I definitely would too. But, yeah, I'm intrigued to see the price of all the cards because usually, like, the first day they're high and then the price goes down. But based on a lot of, like crazy price increases recently, a lot of speculation in the card market, who knows, I really don't know, it might just come out and it's like 500 bucks on launch day, but I, I just can't see it, it doesn't usually happen with Pokemon cards, like Yu-Gi-Oh, yes, there is always like a really expensive card in every set, but Pokemon not so much, like if there's a card that's worth like 50 or 100 bucks, that's kind of like an exception, not a rule, so... Let's see, there's like a hundred plus secret rares in this set, so we we'll, we don't really know what the price is going to be, but I think it's probably safe to assume that a lot of the SSRs will not be that expensive, so it might be a good time to buy them up right at the start when they're still available. We'll see, I'm going to assess the prices and see how we go, and maybe we'll snap up a few. But anyway, I'm rambling a bit today. Uh, let me know what you think, guys. Stay tuned for Friday. Uh, check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Take it easy.